Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Benson and Fred. And what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Benson's ability to understand and respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands. The correction and the motivation that we give the puppies when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six-foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves his left hand free to give any correction if needed, and the only correction is a little tug and release on the training collar. That is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Your kids are going to come home with their very own training equipment. You're going to see a difference in the two videos because two dogs have very different personalities. But Benson is sitting very nicely at Fred's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that Fred's going to demonstrate for you is healing. The command is Benson heal, and at this point Benson has a job to do. That is to remain even with your left leg when walking, not forging ahead or lagging behind, but staying right with you. And when you stop your feet, he has been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for his next command. So this makes walking your dogs a pleasure. So when you stop to cross traffic or stop to talk to a neighbor, they should be sitting quietly at your left and waiting for the next command. And the next command that Fred's going to demonstrate is the sit-stay. Stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command, and because it is a stationary exercise, we do not use the dog's name. This is an exercise that you each can take a dog and practice right indoors. You don't have to go outside. It is a self-control exercise. When Fred returns back to him, he walks all the way around him and he should remain seated until Fred gets back to his shoulders and you see him look up at Fred because he expects to get another command. And they take off healing again. Nice automatic sit. That was beautifully done. So now when you're walking and you stop to cross traffic, you have dogs that are sitting nicely waiting for their next command. Yeah, he's anticipating. So Fred will heal him out of that because he's he's doing the thinking for us. He's like, well, this is what we're going to do next, right? Okay. He has to do the command the way it was taught. So if he does that to you, which at times he will, you go back, you tell him no, and you repeat the command. You're going to lengthen this command out to three minutes. This time, Fred's going to call him, and this is the come on command. And both dogs come very well off leash as well as on leash. When they're in the training yard running and playing, if I call one, they both come. Where are you going there, Benson? That was better. Fred leaves him in a sit stay. He tells him stay with the hand command. He lets him sit there for a minute. And this time he's calling him again. Benson's so smart, he knows what the next command is going to be. That's the problem. He's anticipating commands. And for dogs that do stay a little bit longer than their two weeks and are worked a lot, they do they do start to do that. It's not unusual. So you think quicker than we do sometimes. Now the next command that we're going to demonstrate for you is the down from a heel position. So with your dog always seated first at your left, you take your left open palm, push it straight down toward the ground and give the one word command to okay. down and stay. Now Benson has his own version of the down, which is upside down, but it really is still a down. Even in regulation obedience, that is still considered a down stay. You're going to work that up to five minutes. Okay. All Fred said to him was no. He knows exactly what he's doing. When Fred returns back to him, he quickly walks all the way around him, returning all the way back to where they started again at heel position. And Benson expects to get another command. Each time you return to his shoulders, you have to tell him what you want him to do next. 
I don't know why when he gets down that end of the yard, he does that little scoot out to the side. I think it's because the gate's open. Down. Down and stay. Yeah. He inevitably rolls over on his back. Doesn't seem to matter who's working with him, he does that. This time Fred will call him out of that down stay. Brings him in and has him sit and then he goes back to heel. And the very last command that we're going to demonstrate for you is you're down from a distance. And this is probably the harder of the commands because you're not right next to your dog. So Fred is going to leave him in a sit stay. He turns to face him. He's going to use his right hand this time to give the command. It's a Jack Russell for you. They will push it to the very end. And you have a nice one. Now we have demonstrated for you all of Benson's formal on leash obedience commands. He has done a great job here at school. The kids are have really come a long way. We're going to be back with Havel's video and you're going to see the difference in the two dogs and their personality. Thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company and we'll be right back.